I have not filmed a regular video in two weeks. I don't even know if I know where to look. Welcome back everyone. And today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me. I am sitting down for the first time in about two weeks since I went on my Ireland trip and I wanted to sit down, do my makeup and talk all about the Ireland trip, my experience, how it was hosting a group trip, if I'm gonna do it again, give you all the tea in this video. I thought it'd be fun to use some of the makeup that I saw a lot amongst the makeup bags of all the women that came on the trip with me. If you haven't seen it, I do have two vlogs up of Ireland and our whole 10 day trip. And then I do also have a two and a half hour long video showing everyone that came on the trip what they had in their travel makeup bags. So everyone got to come on the video, explain the choices that they made for their travel makeup bags and show everything that they packed for the trip. It was 12 women that agreed to be in this video with me. So again, it is two and a half hours long. It really was like sitting down with your friends, taking a peek at what was inside their makeup bags. So thank you for all the love on all of the Ireland videos, but particularly that one since everyone that was on with me, um, you know, almost everyone that was on with me, that was their first YouTube video that they were ever filming I know people were nervous and it's hard to put yourself out on the internet but the comments have been overwhelmingly positive and I'm just really happy that you enjoyed that video so I will get you zoom in I will link everything in my description box and let's 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 just chat let's just talk let's start off with the Fenty Beauty foundation stick there was quite a few of these in the travel makeup bags which definitely gave me a chuckle because I have been loving my Fenty foundation stick. I didn't do a lot of shopping in Ireland. I'm genuinely not a big shopper. I know that sometimes like surprises people, but not a big shopper. Um, but a couple of things that I did bring home. One is these earrings. I also got this ring. I wear a lot of rings, but this last ring also got that. I bought a puzzle. I bought some shirts and a sweatshirt and some magnets but i also brought brought home some breakouts because all i did in ireland was eat sugar that's it that's that's pretty much all that i consumed sugar a lot of gelato a lot of gelato a lot of marshmallows <laughs> that was a lot of fun for me so i mean obviously we definitely had like our meals and everything but for the most part, I was like, I have got to stop eating this much sugar. Like, my body's going to go into shock. Like, I have always said that I'm, you know, a sugar fanatic. Um, but I've done a really good job the last couple of years of really cutting way down on refined sugar. But not in Ireland. Not in Ireland. But we'll see how much the uh, my foundation and concealer can, like, really uh, work its magic on the skin that I got going on. I also wasn't sleeping, like, basically at all. I talk about this in the vlogs, but... I just like couldn't sleep. I think my anxiety was just really high and like I just didn't want to like oversleep and be late and all of that. So and then I was also working like US time while I was there. So like that was hard to do. So I was getting like three to four hours of sleep every night for 10 days. So also not ideal <laughs> conditions for my skin, but that's okay. We're going to work on bouncing back. I bought some chicken and mushrooms and sweet potatoes to make for dinner tonight. So we're going to get back into the group. But I did want to just share a little get ready with me and just kind of like piece everything together with Ireland. Like I, I obviously I want to talk about my experience and how it was. I also definitely wanted to spotlight the tour company that we were there with because I feel like we had such a like I want to say top notch like we had like such like um a top notch experience of getting to see so much of Ireland but also it was so much more than that I really feel like working with Atomic Trips was like it, it just made everything the whole experience so kind of like above and beyond and for me I think that I can speak on behalf of like our entire group when I say that the company and Sabrina and Matt, Re, Chance like they really made it's such a special experience for us. So that's something that I definitely want to highlight as well. I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona concealer. So many people brought the Natasha Denona concealer, which I thought was so fun. I actually brought it as well. Um, I had a few questions of why I didn't share what was in my travel makeup bag in that video. Um, one, I figured the video would be long enough. Like I brought my stuff down, but I was like, I feel like this video is going to be pretty long that like, you know, I can do my own separately, like when I'm back home. 
um but also like to me that video wasn't really like about me right like and i like i was trying not to all of my videos are about me, right? All of my videos, it's me sitting here. Every once in a while, I have like, you know, someone with, like Ashley or someone like that will jump in a video with me. But for the most part, like I'm, I'm always in all my videos. <laughs> and I just felt like that was a fun time to have the videos not be about me, but to be about not just the other women, but also to really try to show the friendships and like the actual bond that we had formed in Ireland that was really like to me that was the point of that video and also to show that like I've, I've talked you know kind of recently as well about how I don't necessarily have like a huge love for for makeup and beauty especially like I did in the past but what still really draws me to makeup and draws me to this industry connection and kind of like the bond that it brings especially amongst women when I said obviously it's not just women but I, I really do feel like there's like a special bond that we share and to me that's kind of what that video was spotlighting of like we just like to be nosy and see what people packed and why and people were giving their reviews and you know I really like this for this reason or I didn't like this for that reason and that to me was what I wanted the video to be about. So I obviously was like acting the role as like the host and you know, trying to ask some questions or show some of the, the makeup products um, that some of the women had brought, but I wasn't trying to like have it be about me because it's when it comes to having a YouTube channel, it's usually all about you. But I have been trying to put a little bit more of a focus of like into the community. I've done some videos of like, the best eyeshadow palettes voted on by you and glosses voted on by you and that sort of thing um and that's something that i want to continue to carry over into 2024 but i will be doing a video it'll probably be the next one will be a what i brought in my travel makeup bag to ireland and i think some people will be surprised at the amount that i brought so i use the huda beauty powder so a lot of these but the powder puffs there was a lot of the amazon powder puffs in that video i was quite excited to see these but not surprised because these were like my number one seller on amazon for like half of uh 2023 it was kind of wild but um to get started to talk about ireland so like really it, it kind of all started um over the summer right it was the summer i think it was um i got um an email from a local company here in las vegas called atomic scooters they are located in um kind of near like our arts district of las vegas which is a really cool area i feel like it doesn't get talked about enough um everyone should check it out if you're coming to visit las vegas is not just the strip um or even like fremont street or downtown the artistic area is really cool um and i did this scooter tour with my friend emma and it was super fun so basically you go you get those electric scooters vroom vroom and the gist of it is that you go around to different locations in the area um you can stop in for like a coffee you can stop in for food i had some really good food at one place that had like the best tacos i've ever had i was like what is this um, so that was amazing. Like I actually ended up bringing my friends back there like a month later or something. I was like, y'all, we need to find this, this taco place again because it was so good. So if you are coming to Las Vegas and you're looking for, you know, something different to do, I always get asked like what to do that's not like gambling or nightlife. Definitely check out the scooter tours. They give you a, um, you know, a lesson because I had never done one before. So they give you a lesson and it actually wasn't as scary as I thought that it was going to be. I know my friend Emma that was with me was like a little bit scared as well, but we were crushing it by the end of the night. Like we were definitely professionals. So that is how I ended up meeting Matt and Sabrina who run Atomic Scooters. And then, um, you know, flash forward a couple of months later, they reached out to me again um, because they also started Atomic Trips and they do um, trips to Ireland. So that's also their Instagram. So it is trips to Ireland. That's kind of like their, their specialty of what they focus on. And um, they asked if I wanted to join in on the trip and to be a host. And, um, you know, it took me a little bit to decide. I did a full video about it and, um, you know, trying to decide what I was going to do because at the time my dog had recently been diagnosed with cancer and I wasn't really sure like what life was going to look like at the time. Um, and so, you know, I, I was sharing about that and like, I, I'm just, I'm not sure if this is a good time for me. And I had decided to do chemotherapy with my dog to see if we could, 
um, you know, stop the, the cancer from spreading and growing or if we could slow the growth. Um, and we tried chemo for a while and when I got the results that um, the cancer was actually still spreading and still growing, I ultimately knew that I wasn't going to have a lot of time left with my dog. <laughs> Obviously, this is still a hard thing for me to talk about. I cry every time I try to talk about Aries. <laughs> but um, it was shortly after I found that out and, you know, kind of came to the reality that by the end of the year, Aries was most likely not going to be with me. So I made the decision to say yes to the Ireland trip um, in a way because it gave me something to look forward to when I knew that when I knew that the future was holding her death. <laughs> so it gave me something else to look forward to past going through one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> it also sounded like a really um, intriguing way to be able to um, kind of extend that like community feel that I've been talking about for years on my platform. Like several years ago i started using the tagline like community over competition and things like that and bringing women together has been a passion of mine for a long time because a reason why i got on the internet was because i felt like i didn't have any friends that had the same interests as me so that's why i started a blog and then continued that over to youtube and it's something that i see and i have definitely seen a lot over the years of women wanting to feel those connections with each other and friendships with each other and all of that so I thought this just seems like a really intriguing way to try something like it. And obviously I was a little bit nervous. I mean, thankfully the trip ended up going even better than I could have remotely um, expected it to. But obviously it's kind of nerve wracking. And I know that it was like a big ask as well. It was 10 days over a holiday. We left the day after Christmas. We were there over New Year's. Um, and that's a long time to be away from your job, to be away from your friends and family. Um, that's a long time to be with a group of people that you've never met before. Like every woman that went on that trip, like I think is so incredibly brave because that's very scary. There was one night that we were playing a game. It was kind of like one of those like icebreaker card games. And it said something like, what is one thing you've done that like surprised you or like you were, you weren't confident about or you... I don't know, like it was one of those types of questions, right? And every single person said booking that trip and going on that trip because no one knew anyone. Like we had Zoom calls ahead of time. We had, you know, um, like an Instagram group chat and things like that. So we were like getting to know each other, but like no one knew each other. Very scary thing. So um, I remember on the last night just trying to tell everyone that like, I think you're incredibly brave for, for doing this trip because that's really that's a hard thing to do to put yourself out there like that. And I know for someone like me who I struggle with social anxiety, like that was really hard for me to do as well because that was 10 days again with people that I don't know. And knowing how my social anxiety works, it was like, like, I don't know if I'm setting myself up for failure here. Um, but I went into it hoping for the best and it was also nice to do something over new year's. I'm not really a big new year's girl. Um, New Year's has never really been my thing since I've never talked like I've never like actually talked about it but the whole world changed New Year's um when I was 30 and I've just never I was never really a big New Year's girl after that but that New Year's changed and and put me on the trajectory of where I am now um with my divorce and living in Vegas and all of that and just every time New Year's rolls around I just you know like I'm just like ugh it just feels like you're reliving a bad day and bad memories all over again. So I thought what, um, you know, what, what a thing to look forward to is being out of the country and doing something so fun and different and brave with a bunch of other really cool people and brave people. I said yes to Sabrina and we started we started on the journey. I'm gonna use my Life's a Draft palette with Ofra Cosmetics for my bronzer and also blush. I love these out of here and we had a few that brought along the Life's a Draft palette and I actually ended up signing some which is like such a, uh, like I don't know how to explain. I remember when I did my meetup in New York in like what 2019, um, I signed a few things there and it was like wait what? Like I remember being so 
it's one of those moments that I remember being confused. Like I was like, I don't understand. Like what? You want me to do what now? It just it, it's something that's like super surreal to me every time. So um, Tam was the first one that had brought the palette and asked me to sign it, and I was like, what? And I'm so and it's funny watching me back because it's funny watching. It's just interesting <laughs> watching yourself back and watching you try to keep it together. I get this kind of like blank stare on my face because I'm just, all I'm trying to do is like zone out as best as I can to not just be like bawling. Cause once I start crying, it's really hard for me to stop. So especially like in a room full of people and we're like trying to film this video, I'm just, you can see me and I can see myself playing with my hands, like playing with my fingers and like picking up my nails. Like I'm trying, it's those little like self soothing things that I'm trying to do to like calm myself down. So it's just like funny to watch it back and, and notice that. Um, but that was really sweet. So I signed Tam and Susan's palettes and that's a, like a really special moment for me as well. So that's a blush and bronzer that I'm going to use. To talk a little bit, like that's kind of like, you know, like why I said yes to the trip and everything. Um, but then one thing, like I was really impressed even before we went to the trip, you know, we had like our group chat, we had our Zooms, you know, Sabrina was in all of the Zooms with us, um, going over the itinerary and this is um trips that her and matt have done so they had a lot of like knowledge for us even on like what to pack you know they were a huge help with um um like flight information and that sort of thing and re who does um you know some of the like uh um what am I trying to say? Like the phone, like the phone calls, like if you have questions or whatever, and like you can call them. Um, I know that I was hearing like some of the first feedback that I was hearing was how great she was to talk to and, you know, really answered everyone's questions. And, you know, I know Janelle was saying she called so many times with questions and everyone was always very patient with her and, and helpful and just making sure everyone felt really comfortable with it. And that was something that I felt like I really noticed the entire time as well as everyone just felt um, very comfortable. And I think it was because of all of the like meticulous planning that went into the trip um all of the like i was going to talk about like the safety too because i know that's like something that's on the forefront of everyone's mind when traveling i just I, I feel like it was because of all of the work that they've done and all of the planning and preparation that they put into the trip that really made it you know so smooth and successful um even from the time of just people starting to book so i felt like that was really important and made me feel like everyone was in really good hands and there's a lot of ways in which i felt um you know things just got so were so like above and beyond um even something down to like so like the first night we came like we got um you know these name tags so they have like our photos on them and our names um and then on the back there's like different information but it even has like the emergency number um which you know is obviously different in ireland there's also like the phone number for the embassy of the u.s like something that i never you know would have thought of at all they also had the phone numbers to both matt and sabrina on here like if we were to need anything um and i thought that was just a really great idea we also had like our whatsapp chat chat so we could be talking um, while we were international, we had the Life 360 app so we could see where everybody was at every at any time. Um, and that was something that I thought was such a great idea too because for the most part, you know, we were all together, but there was definitely times where, you know, especially like shopping, you know, some people are wandering off by themselves or going off in groups of two or three. And so if needed, you know, we were able to look at the map to be like, oh, this person's right here. They're coming around the corner. If anyone was lost, we could figure out exactly where they were you know since no one knows where they are in Ireland um so I, I just thought that was you know something that was just like so above and beyond for making sure people felt safe and secure at every moment in the trip and they plan the whole itinerary like I had nothing to do with like the itinerary picking spots again they are the ones that are super knowledgeable about Ireland and especially Matt was just like his love for ireland like kind of reminds me of like my love for vegas and um you know it was just something that was so apparent in the way that he would talk about the different rooms that we were at or the or the the castles that we were in um you, you can just like sense his excitement for being able to see everything but also to be able to like experience through people's first time seeing those things and to me that's just what makes such a great um, you know, I guess maybe I want to say like tour guide or tour host or something like that, but, um, that's what makes such like a phenomenal one. And it, it, it really almost gets you like more excited for the experience. I remember one night we did a walking tour in Cork and we had a local guide taking us through. And I said it in the vlog of like, 
you can tell how much she loves that city and she wants you to love that city too and it just almost made you like more excited and more into it and it just was like such a fun experience so i mean they packed so much into our 10-day trip it was definitely a lot and we were going to you know a lot of different cities and there was really never a chance to like unpack your suitcase and stay a while because we were like one night in dublin two nights in cork one night in killarney one night in galway um and that sort of thing but to me like if you're gonna be doing something like a trip to ireland like why not try to go to as many different cities as you can and experience as much as you can like sure it's 10 days of like wow we really did it like we did a lot we hiked a lot we saw a lot we were in the bus a lot but like but then we did it all like i mean we got to see so much um and that to me is really cool so like sure i'm still really tired you know i got back on friday i'm filming this on thursday it's the first time i've been filming it's a little bit under the weather um which isn't shocking to me but you know it's like yeah you can have your time to like try to rest a little bit as much as you can when you are back but while you're there it's like you might as well try to get in as much as you can so i thought that was a really great experience getting to see and do so much and then it was also like all the little things that I, I feel like we we never really had to worry about anything there was never a time we went into a restaurant and we're like waiting um you know we would walk in and we had like um like the first night and a couple of, of the times we had customized menus that said like sam squad takes ireland and it had our menu out for us and so that was already done ahead of time you know sabrina came on the bus with us um and then matt and we also had a videographer chance that was with us um, who was fantastic by the way and they were in a car ahead of us so they were getting to all the spots early on to make sure that like the restaurants were ready for us the menus were out like the drinks were like getting ready to go and like we just didn't have to think about anything or do anything we just like showed up and everything was already taken care of and you know especially when you're on vacation but when you're on a vacation like that which is a little bit more of like an adventurous trip there was a lot of times that you could tell like we were tired we were hiking it was raining it was muddy um you know for us to just be able to go and show up and then there's food ready for us like we didn't have to think about anything or do anything for ourselves like that really made the experience just feel so seamless which i definitely very much appreciated okay i had to change my camera battery and i think also my settings were still like wonky from ireland so i changed my settings so hopefully you can see me better I'm not great at camera settings. I've only been doing this for 10 years, so. It's like, what do you expect from me, you know? The palette I'm gonna use, we have a little bit of a plot twist. <laughs> plot twist. Um, so I'm gonna use the mini gold from Natasha Denona. So if you saw my palette collection and declutter video, which I could not upload for the life of me in Ireland, that was so, I think I finally uploaded it on like day eight. It was so hard to get that video up. Um, but you know that I decluttered it, but, so many people brought this palette and i was like oh every time i pulled out or someone would pull out another mini gold i was like because i think i the day that we filmed the video i think i had uploaded the video that morning and i was like has anyone seen this so they know that i decluttered decluttered it yet like can i take it back can i take it back um so i took the mini gold out of my declutter pile and we're gonna use it today I just thought that it was so cool that like so many people brought the mini gold. I was like, wait, I love that. Um, I was hoping actually to be able to use the new, I ordered the mini My Dream, the palette and the blush. But again, I'm filming this on Thursday and right now my tracking says it's not going to be here until Sunday. I ordered it the day I got back. I ordered it from the airport. Like, I was like, why is this? It, it looks like it got delayed somewhere. I don't know if there was like bad weather up somewhere but I, I don't know what happened i'm gonna start off with the matte green but I, I don't know why it's so delayed but as soon as it comes in i'm gonna do i'll probably just do an eye swatching video with it so yeah we'll have a separate video on that one but i was like you know what it just makes sense actually to use the mini gold because this is what so many people brought and i just thought that was so fun um so that's like a little bit more about like the trip and how it went to me it was just really nice again to just kind of feel like everything was handled for you um you know obviously that was a really big trip for a lot of people to take and um you know especially even when it comes to like finances like i know it was really nice to just be able to go and like eat food and have your drinks and be able to leave and um again just not have to like stress and worry about reservations or where to go or how to get there and you know we had um a bus that was taking us around to all the different cities and when we left dublin on the um so we flew into dublin we had a dinner that night we did like a pub crawl 
and then the next day we met on a bus to take us to Cork and the bus was pretty small there was like a are we going to be able to get all of our luggage on here like we didn't know and Sabrina was like this is not acceptable like I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna handle it so we got to Cork and then by the time we stayed there two nights and then by the time that we were ready to go off to the next city which I believe was Killarney we had a bigger bus it was super nice um you know and it was just obviously a lot more comfortable to go all around the country where you could like kind of spread out um and I know for me like I get motion sickness so I literally would just go sit in the back of the bus I'd curl up I put my headphones in and just try to not think that I was in a moving vehicle. Um, so that was nice because you didn't really have that option in the smaller bus. Like everyone had to like share seats and I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna start throwing up on everybody and that's gonna be really embarrassing. You know, it was just like, that was something that we didn't have to handle. Like they were able to handle that. They also just went above and beyond for us with like um, running to like the grocery store. If people like forgot anything or needed anything, you know, we could put it in the chat of like, can you grab this for us or that for us? We had a girl that was celebrating her 30th birthday and they got a cake for her, like candles with the 30 on it and came out. It was the night that we were spending at the castle and came out, we were all were able to sing happy birthday to her. I mean, just all of those little things, and not even little things, all of those like big things um, is what made the trip like so special and um, honestly just really smooth. Like it just, you know, it just, we just didn't have any issues. Like it just, we just went from one thing to the next to the next and everyone was able to just have a good time and be in the moment and not have to worry about anything else which was just really so special um so I, i'm just i'm really grateful that they were able to give us such an like over the top great experience and that's without me even talking about like the photography and the videography so not only was matt such a great um you know tour guide for us and taking all, us to all these places and explaining about them but he was also a photographer you can see in some of my vlogs of like he just like do 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 vlogging and then you see matt in the back like ready like with the camera like taking all of the photos um he took group shots of us single shots of us and I know everyone is going to really appreciate all of those photos that they have because we're at some like magnificent sites in Ireland and now they get to have these, um, you know, these professional photos from the trip. No, no, I knew my green shadow. Look, can you see what just happened? I don't know if you'll be able to see because I'm just gonna spill it everywhere. My green shadow has broken and i've like tried to repress it a few times and then i don't know what happened i went to like i don't know tilt the palette towards me and half of it fell out mini gold i was trying to keep you but like now half my shadow's broken on the floor it's like patrick towel all over again i didn't even do anything i didn't even drop it i've had to repress that shadow a few times but i love that green i'm gonna do the gold though just and the gold is like not so well either yeah, okay. I'm remembering why I decluttered this. Cause now I'm just, I feel like I'm just gonna break it even more. Ah, so sad. Ooh, but the gold is pretty. And listen, green and gold, like, hold on. Yep, 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 yep. Tigers should not be in the playoffs this year, but they are, but they are. Will they win on Sunday against Dallas? There's a chance. I mean, you gotta play the game. Like the game hasn't been played. Like they could win. Did I almost book a flight to Dallas to go to said game? Yes. Yes, I did. I almost went to Dallas this weekend because I'm insane. Um, but we have so many events. I have an event Saturday and Monday in Vegas. And I was like, you can't go to Dallas just for one day. Like you can't, like if it was closer, like it was like the Rams, if there was a chance they had to play the Rams, I could go and come back. But I was like, you can't, you can't do it, Samantha. You gotta, you gotta stay home for this one. Um, but let's do, let's do a little... Green and gold. I said I'm gonna wear my Packers gear the entire week. I don't care what it is. If it's pants, if it's a shirt, if it's a sweatshirt, if it's a beanie, if it's a hat. I'm somehow wearing Green Bay every day, and that includes green and gold. I'm gonna use the green, but it's now on my floor, so that's sad. Um, but anyways, to go back to that, like I, I just thought it was really sweet that at one point at the trip, um, you know, when we were kind of discussing everything, one woman said, you know, I kind of like I felt like a supermodel this week. And that's something to me that I just think is really special because not everyone that's that's not normal for a vacation you know i've done like the sandals things like i honeymoon there and stuff and it's like yeah you can go and buy like a travel package or a photo package and someone will come out on the beach with you and like take a photo like i've done all that and everything but this was like you're not only getting 
the moments when we're at like the runes and everything but like you're getting like the candid moments of the group and how much fun we're all having with each other and um you know i just thought that was really special to hear and i hope everyone i just hope this trip made everyone feel as special as they are i guess is what i'm trying to say um and i hope that it did and you know i was able to hear um especially on like our last dinner and some people were talking like that you know it sounds like exactly like me and why i turned to the internet and i didn't have a lot of friends and you know that's how some of the other women felt as well and you know they were saying and now i'm leaving here with friends and that's a that that means a lot and i again i just go back to like i hope everyone felt special during that trip whether it be from the photos from the conversations from the laughs from the memories um from even maybe something like filming like i just i don't know i want to say i love people but like not everybody of course but i'm just kidding it's just so nice to see people genuinely happy and genuinely feel appreciated and genuinely feel supported um that to me is like so special and to be able to have like a small part in that is a really cool thing um and whether that just be you know not even like talking about the trip but just telling someone that they're doing a great job or telling someone they look nice or telling someone you admire their work ethic or whatever it may be like i just i'm someone who i very freely i think tell the people in my life how great they are constantly like it's not it's it's not a surprising thing to get a text message from me at like 6 p.m at night of being like i just think you're the bomb and this is why and i just feel like more people should should do that because we live in a world right now where negativity is super popular and drama is what sells and all of that it just sometimes seems like the internet spends more time trying to figure out ways to tear people down and to bring them up and so i don't know maybe it's like i'm trying to overcorrect for that since i've been on the internet for so long and i've seen so many bad things and i know the damage that it's done to me um and my mental health that i try to like push out as much like love and positivity as i can um so you know sometimes my friends are like okay samantha that was that was six paragraphs long of why you think i'm a great person and i'm kind of busy i don't have time to read all that and i'm like well you better read it because you're great but all that to say like being able to have those photos i'm so curious to see like all the videography that chance did and it just really um elevated the whole trip i mean to me it's like that's kind of like the word that I use is like I feel like the trip was just so elevated on so many levels and I, I think the other attendees can say that as well so um, you know obviously I just want to give like a huge thank you to Matt and Sabrina and the whole team at Atomic Trips for um, not only including me you know like not this was the first time they were working with an influencer this was the first time I was doing anything like that um, so obviously to give like an opportunity like this and it really um, inspired me to be able to do more you know um, I was supposed to do the Vegas retreat last year but with Aries being sick um, that obviously had to get put on pause because I wasn't sure when things were gonna happen so um, unfortunately we had to delay the Vegas retreat by a year but um, you know I'm able to do it now we're doing it in March of this year and I'm super excited to welcome everyone um, that is coming to my city and have a really fun time with them um, so I'm looking forward to that and um, it definitely just really inspired me to keep it going with the community aspect that I've been trying to do and I've been saying in my videos recently that my word of the year is community um, and figuring out ways to be able to bring more people together because to me the biggest part of the trip like my biggest takeaway was seeing all of those connections I feel like I'm saying some of the same words but like I'm also still kind of sick if you can't tell by my sniffles so I'm not performing at top notch. To see the connections, to see the bonds, to see like people making trips with each other for like their next trips and visiting each other and all of that. And still like our group chat is still going and people are sending photos of their makeup or their outfits or their hair. And like, I just, that to me is, is like the most special part. So I'm just, I'm really appreciative for this experience. Um, I'm genuinely very appreciative of Matt and Sabrina and their team for just going above and beyond and making it such a 
unique and amazing experience for all of the women that were brave enough to say yes to come on a trip like this um and i also want to say thank you to everyone that came on the trip um because obviously it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you um but i i will never not be blown away at how amazing everybody was um and just how welcoming everybody was you know when we had our farewell dinner sabrina mentioned like no one was ever left out like no one was ever on their own and you could really see that from people like you could really see that everyone wanted to make sure everybody was having a good time as well and that everyone was included that to me was like a really special part of it and everyone was you know pitching in and i just i can't say enough good things about every single person that i met on that trip i I don't think it's going to be the last time any of us are hanging out together, um, that's for sure. And, you know, if any of y'all are ever in Vegas, I'm always here. I shouldn't say always here because I'm, I'm going to be gone a lot in 2024. But if I'm here, like, I've already told some of the girls, like, I'm trying to come to some of their hometowns as well. And it really was, like, a trip where you made friends for life. And after having such, like, an amazing experience like that in another country, it's like, you know, how could you, how could you not come away with that kind of bond? And to me, that's just so special. Like... If you would have told 2009 Samantha who got on the internet because she felt like such a loner. Like I always felt like such an outcast in Iowa and I always felt like I didn't have any friends. Like if you would have said that <laughs> I would be going to Ireland with people from the internet that I've never met before and come away with such strong friendships, like I would have said that's what I want. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm hiring someone to put together a WordPress site for me. That's why I'm trying to learn HTML coding. That's why I'm trying to be vulnerable and put myself out on the internet and see if I can find any friends that accept me for who I am. So that trip was definitely very special in a lot of ways. I'm gonna use the fan fest. I know some of the girls bought um, benefit mascaras when we were over there. I'm gonna try to stop crying though because mascara Whew, we don't need that in our life, um, but it's just really wild to me. And I mentioned in a recent um, chatty get ready with me about how I felt like this trip and what this year is going to signify feels a very full circle for me. Like I started on the internet because I wanted friends. I've always had a deep love for travel. Um, I used to read my grandma's encyclopedias when I was young. Stick with me here, okay? Um, I, I don't know why my grandma had like a whole selection of encyclopedias at her house. But I would literally go to the encyclopedias, I would look up the states, and I would read every single thing about the states. I would then make quizzes for myself. I would quiz myself on the state capital, on the state flower, on the state bird. I would have puzzles of the US, I would have puzzles of like specific states, and I would always be doing my puzzles. I went on to be a travel major in college. My first tattoo was on my foot, Chinese lettering that says to travel. Like to also now combine my love of social media, my love of connecting with other women, my love of travel, my love of beauty, to put it all into one <laughs> like this is wild to me. Like it just, it really does feel very full circle and it has me really excited for what 2024 is going to bring. Um, obviously losing my dog in 2023 was very difficult. Um, it's and obviously like I still I just really struggle to talk about Aries but um you know obviously Aries wasn't going to be with me forever and all of the things I, I wish that we would have had even a couple of more years together but you know if you can look at any or linings or any positivity out of anything um it is that I do have so much more freedom this year to be able to travel and experience a life that I basically decided to give up this will probably be a subject for another video but i knew that when i decided to marry my ex-husband that i was going to be giving up a lot and i still did it it's he's not to blame at all that's me i made that decision i knew what i was going to be giving up when i decided to get married i knew that it would mean staying in iowa i knew that it would mean not traveling the world I knew it and I still did it. Something that I still, um, you know, grapple with to this day of why did I make that decision? Um, why did I not choose myself back in the day? And obviously there's a lot of reflection and inner work that goes into that, but I was very 
aware that I was giving up a life that I wanted. And now I really feel like I have that second chance. I have that do-over. And it wasn't going to happen if I had Aries with me. I didn't even like to leave her for like four nights at a time. Like that was a lot for me. Being away like one or two nights from Aries, I didn't like that at all. I remember the longest trip I did was to Mexico and I, those last few nights, like I was like, I just wanna be home. I just wanna be home, I miss my dog. So it's not that I, again, I would have preferred to have a couple of more years with Aries. But if anything, I feel like this is really um, kind of pushing me to get out there and stop just talking about it. To stop just talking about how I want to do this, I want to see that, I want to go there. Now it's like, okay, so go. You said you want to do this, so make it happen. Figure it out. And it's very scary and it's very overwhelming because I feel like I'm kind of coming face to face with like, I have... I have no more excuses, right? I have nothing holding me back. I can't say like, oh, well, I can't go because of my dog or I can't go because of, you know, my husband doesn't want to travel or I can't go because of um, my job. Like, you know, because of my job, I can work from pretty much anywhere. I can bring my camera. I can still be uploading. I can still be writing. Like, I don't have excuses anymore to not do everything that I want to do. And that's very overwhelming because there's a lot of like self-doubt fear that goes into that what if i can't do it what if i don't succeed at it what if i fail very exciting and i don't want to like get it twisted that i'm extremely grateful that this is what my life is but you can be grateful and fearful at the same time you can be nervous and excited at the same time you can you can have two different emotions at at the same time and like that's perfectly okay that's kind of how i feel right now like i have so much gratitude like there there's there's so many times that I just sit and think of how wild this is. And again, sometimes, especially if you find someone online and you've only been watching them for weeks or a few months, like you don't know their whole backstory. And sometimes people are like, you know, well, you're just lucky. And you know, like you just like post videos on the internet. Like you didn't know 2009 Samantha that was working three jobs while trying to start a blog while writing a book. Like, you know, not everyone sees all of the the struggle and the hustle you didn't see in you know 2017 that I made eight thousand dollars in the entire calendar year because I was trying to make social media work for me like you didn't pay off the credit card debt that I put myself in when I was trying to start YouTube and I was buying lights and cameras and makeups and collections and all of these things like there's been a lot of hard work and sacrifice that has come with this job there's been a lot of mental health struggles that come with living your life online. Um, but in that same fashion, I'm super grateful for it because it's given me this life that I have right now. And I always have to make sure that I stop and reflect and be in the moment of right now. And I had that time in Ireland. It was the, the last day, last like full day that we were there. We were at this beautiful location at sunset. And I just took a moment, I went off by myself and I made sure to just be feel very grounded and look around and understand the enormity of where I was in that moment and understand the enormity of I've worked so hard and I've worked so hard and I gave up a lot to be in this position and it finally feels after what almost 15 years it finally feels like things are starting to come together so all that to say the Ireland trip was a massive success and I'm so grateful to everyone involved from Sabrina and Matt and the entire crew at Atomic Trips to every single woman that came on that trip with me to all of you that were supporting and watching. Just, I appreciate it so much. I am entirely grateful for this life. I am really looking forward to this year. It has to be better than last year. That's, that's 100% for sure. Um, like it has to be better than last year, but I'm nervous. I hope that I can accomplish everything that I want to accomplish and do all the things that I want to do. I hope that I continue to make friendships and form those connections with so many of you and build each other up and support one another um, and just be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. That's what I hope for 2024. I know I always sound really corny when I say that, but it's. I, I hope you know that like that is genuinely what I mean and that's genuinely how I feel. I'm gonna finish off with my lip products. 
I'm going to do a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner because I saw so many of these. I'm going to use Love Trap. And so many people also had the Summer Fridays lip balm. And they had like such cute little minis. So I'm going to use my brown sugar. And that is going to be my lip combo. Mm, I do love Love Trap and brown sugar. All right. Mm. Yes. This lip. This eye. Now it's time for my favorite part which is taking out the rollers. I never know where all my clips are, but it feels so good. I did not bring my rollers with me, but you know what? I only wash my hair one time. <laughs> the running joke of the trip was me just constantly saying, guys, I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. I'm gonna wash my hair tonight and then not washing my hair. I wash my hair one time. Listen, I don't like to wash my hair. I showered. I don't like to wash my hair. I thought after getting my extensions out, I'd be like a little bit more open to washing my hair. Turns out I'm not. Turns out I still just don't like it. Well, bringing my rollers definitely would have just been a waste, but, oh, I didn't even tell you guys the best part. Ah, oh my gosh, guess what? I left um, the 26th, the day after Christmas, right? I wake up at like six o'clock in the morning like normal. I look at my phone. My flight's at like 5 p.m., 5, 5.30 p.m. out of Las Vegas. It's 6 a.m. I look at my phone, my flight's delayed. I'm like, what? I'm like, how are you delayed already? And I'm looking at it, I'm looking at the new time, I'm like, I'm gonna miss my connecting flight in Amsterdam. Um, so I flew 10 hours to Amsterdam and then I was gonna have like an hour and a half layover and then it was like another, like maybe like a 45 minute flight to um, Dublin. So I immediately start panicking as one does and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I don't know what to do. I don't know how to change this. I don't know how to fix this. I'm gonna have to call, like I'm gonna have to do all this. And I was like, okay, just the one thing that you have to make sure you do today is get in the shower and wash your hair. Cause so I was like, I'm not gonna wash my hair on the trip except for one time. So I was like, just get in the shower, wash your hair and just calm down. So I get in the shower, I calm down, I calm myself down. I'm like, everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I was like, this happens. They're gonna know how to fix it. This isn't unusual. And so I felt like when I was able to call Delta, I was in a much calmer headspace versus if I would've just called right away and been like, what's going on? And like panicking. I get someone who's super nice. It's the day after Christmas. You know, I'm sure people like don't wanna be working. And I'm like explaining the situation. I'm probably over explaining like I normally do because I struggle with boundaries. And like, I'm like, and then it's this trip and like everyone's gonna be there and I'm not gonna be there and I don't know what to do. And so she ends up finding me another flight and it was gonna put me in, like I was supposed to get into Dublin at like 1.30 p.m. And then with the new flights, I wasn't gonna get in until like 5.30 and we were supposed to be meeting, I think it was like we were meeting at six to then walk to the restaurant for dinner at 6.30. And I was like, there's no way. Like my flight's not getting there till 5.30 by the time I get luggage and I figure out where to go and I get to the hotel and I have to change up to meet. I was like, I'm gonna be late for this dinner. So I'm like, I'm not, was I crying? I mean, I was just like super upset because I was like, this is the first night, I'm gonna be late. Like so sad about everything. And the woman was so nice and they ended up upgrading me to business class, y'all. Okay, I still would have preferred to have been on time and to not, I literally went to dinner in my airport clothes. I got to the hotel, I dropped off my suitcase, all I did was change my shoes, and then boom, I was out the door. Like, I was like, I'm not trying to hold people up, I'm not trying to be a diva, I'm not trying to like anything, I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. I would have rather have that happened, but I also got the experience of flying business class internationally. Yeah, that was a vibe. That was a vibe, y'all. I had a bed. I was I was laying down. They brought me a lobster salad. I was like, oh my, this is, this is, stop it. Crazy imposter syndrome because I felt like everyone around me like typically flies first class and, and business class. And then there was me that was like <laughs> taking selfies because I was so excited. Okay. So I was very excited, but I got some comments in the vlog of like being bougie. And I'm like, y'all, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not that bougie. So that was the story of why I was late to Dublin and why I was flying business class. And it was quite, it was quite fun. <laughs> I didn't on the way back, so <clears throat> nothing happened. I didn't have any flight delays, but it's fine. For that, that is everything. I will link anything in my description box and the YouTube shopping link. Um, thank you so much for listening to me talk about this trip. I hope to meet some of you on future trips. And I hope you have an amazing 2024. Thank you for watching.